living in a chaotic world, it puts us in, in a way that we can know situational awareness. We have to understand that we may not be safe all the time. But we talk about defending our home and we talked about making sure that we know that we can protect our family. Well, what are some ways to do that? Now we have talked, you know, lethal and, and, and talked self-defense that way. But what about some other items, some other things that could keep us safe, keep us secure, keep our home secure, keep us maybe in a survival mode that's good for you as a prepper and also very cost effective on a budget. Perfect. Now let's talk about these five things that you should purchase today that deals with, hey, we want to be safe, we want to be secure, but we don't want to be lethal carriers because we're scared of maybe uh, two-way rights, but we need something to make sure that we're safe and know that our home is safe and we have some form of security. Well, today's video is just that. Let's jump into it. Today's video starts right now. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Hey guys, welcome to The Max. Thank you so very much for being here today. If you are new to the channel, go down here, press subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, that's okay, but let us know what you think about the content of the video. The whole point of this video is not for people like me who love uh, enjoying self-defense and have a, a EDC that we carry each and every day. Some people just don't know, are not comfortable with carrying something that's something like a, a firearm. So what other options are there in a non-lethal form that we can carry also, if we're at home and we're stuck at home, what are some ways to keep our home safe that's very economical? Let's talk about this list of five today. Number one is a two by four bracing system. What this is, is a very economical way to protect your doors. Now, if you've seen my videos on how we protect our doors, we have two, uh, two sets of wood shutters along with screens. Those shutters have two hinge uh, points in there. One is basically welded into where those close. We put a hanger down and done. It's finished and our door is closed off. Well, there's an inside method to that too that can save money. Look at these these two by four holders right here. This reminds you of an old school, like little house on the prairie door was how they locked it. You know, they threw the two by four over the door and then secured it. This is a way that you can anchor it straight to the door facing, making sure you get a good hold and put two or three of these on your door and basically have the lathen just to go right into the two by four. You can screw the two by four in if you're like, hey, I need to secure the home. Or if it's one of those cases where you just want to throw it over while you're asleep or while you're by yourself at your home, this is a great economic way to protect our doors. This is cheap. It's very economical and the best way to say, you know what, not only are we going to have deadbolts, chains, or, you know, throwaway locks, we're also going to have a two by four mechanism to hold the door shut. And that will give us a safe, secure thought pattern on door safety. Even with windows, if you have these, it makes it where people, even if they break your windows, they really, really can't understand how to get those two by four off those slats. Number two is the Payne Safari Shockwave Torch. Now, this is not some ordinary flashlight. It is extremely bright. Now, that is just the one thing that I like about this. Before we talk about this, I want to show you something of what they're giving away. We're partnering with Payne Safari, and we're going to be giving away this phenomenal gift. And you can drive around in it. America is not safe anymore, especially when we talk about our cities. It's getting crazier and crazier. And guess what? Criminals are actually getting away with crimes in the cities. And that's why I think this is key. Not only for uh, me as, as an adult, especially a grown man, but what about my wife? What about someone older? And, you know, like I said, they may not want to carry a concealed, you know what? So let me tell you about this and I want to show you how it works. This is not just some ordinary flashlight. Right here on the bottom of this thing, that's where you charge the USB, but there's also a little switch. Now what that switch is, and I want to show you this. Don't get scared, but look, watch, watch this. I'm going to turn the light off so you can see it. Ah, did you see that? That's more than a flashlight and you want to know how you can be safe and survive on the streets. You give somebody a little of that. And this flashlight, they're going to be completely scared of. This button will make a 350-pound man cry like a little baby. So I think that this would be a good purchase. This is on sale right now if you check our link below. Not only 
is this a great buy for you? And yes, they are the sponsor of today's video, but the reason I wanted them to sponsor because I'm partnering again with that truck. And this is how you enter that giveaway, by the way. Enter to win this Rocky Ridge customized truck by clicking my link in the description and equip you and your loved ones with the Shockwave Torch. And Payne Safari is hooking you up with a major discount of up to 80% off an extra contest entries when you use this link below this is a limited time offer this giveaway ends in just a few weeks so get it now so again number two is this flashlight it looks very inconspicuous it's perfect for you it's a must-have for moms dads for elder individuals even some of your younger daughters who are going to college this would be a great purchase for you to have this is a way that you know you can keep them safe this will allow them to get away from whoever is trying to take advantage of them and this is what i call a good buy Number three is a clear safety film. Now you can buy this clear safety film strictly right off Amazon. It allows the windows to be covered in this film. Now this is not going to protect the glass from getting broke, but what it's going to do if you put this film, especially on the inside and the outside, or you can get the thicker rolls, basically what it does is as someone tries to break this glass, it holds it in place. Hopefully the sound of breaking glass, hopefully the sound of what's going on will give you enough time to get to safety and or get to the problem at hand. That's the point of when we talk about safety and security of your home. The doors will eventually, the two by four system would eventually break. The windows will eventually break. The whole point of this though is to give you a little bit more time. So number three would be this film. I think you should definitely have this on your windows. We have Metro screens. I've told you and showed those to you in other videos. But also if we don't have that, there's some windows that we don't have them on. The screen protector is a phenomenal way of not only keeping you safe if the window gets broke by any means necessary by a simple rock thrown from your lawnmower. So it's easier to change, but that's not the point of them. The point is for safety and security and someone tries to break in, they're gonna have a harder time getting in with this film and give you a little bit more time to get where you need to go for safety or to get to the problem to address the situation. That's not for you. If you think those films are not good, they make a glass sensor. I'm gonna also link that below uh, from Amazon too. What it does is it allows, if that glass is broke or that window moves, it sounds an alarm. Now you may have, uh, you know, alarm systems from a local provider or someone like an ADT or, or you know, anything like that. That's okay. This can be extra. We have one on every window in our home. So that way when that little threshold comes off, it sirens off. So that way, no matter what kind of security system I have, no matter what kind of safety net I have on the outside of the window, when that window goes up, when that glass breaks, that alarm's gonna sound and it allows me to, again, get to safety or get to the problem. Number four is probably one of the easiest and actually it's a companion. It's a dog. I challenge everyone to have a dog. This is very inexpensive. You could go to some kind of shelter if you don't want to buy some kind of name brand dog or some kind of registered dog. Some of my best dogs are the ones that I've literally bought at animal shelters, animal shelters or the strays that I'm able to take in because they, they know that you love them. You're willing to give them a home. Here's the thing. If you teach them that you are the owner, you teach them that you are the friend and that you're the one that's feeding them, they're gonna protect you. It's not about having this monster pit or Rottweiler to tear someone's leg off. That has nothing to do with it. All you need is that yappy bark. If they can warn you of threat, then that's what matters. I'm gonna give you two examples. Inside dog. Those little dogs probably can't do diddly squat with someone that's actually trying to break into your home but if they become a warning sign studies show that 65 percent of thieves will not break into a home if a dog is barking indoors what that shows is that that bark is important so that helps people stay away from people's houses now outdoors i carry my border collie and my great pyrenees that did die when they're with me and when my other dogs are with me and I'm outside, especially at dark or in the mornings early when I'm milking my cows, I can't see nothing. So those dogs have situational awareness better than us, that extra sense that they can see warnings, they can see the situations. If it's, if it's an animal or if it's another human being, they're going to warn me that they're there. So having a dog is a key part of survival, especially when you're trying to be on a budget not only companionship, but the fact that it just warns people to stay away, warns animals to stay away, but also lets you know that there it may be a problem looming. Before I go to number five, I just have to show you how beautiful these sheep look. Look at that sheep. I love having sheep. If you own, if you own property, you need to own sheep. 
Uh, this is the area I just don't like the bush hog <laughs> right in front of the pond. So they keep it up for me, but look how pretty they are. There's something peaceful about sheep. Okay, anyways, I'm sorry. Back to the video. Number five is motion cameras. Now, I would challenge you to do this. We have a system at our home that's looking at every part of our house, every door, every window. But what about further off? What if all of a sudden the power is cut off? We also have solar wireless cameras that work strictly off solar energy. It's getting the memory, it's putting it on a memory card. Now there are versions of this that are cost a little bit more that you can get a live feed from your phone. But sometimes it's good just to have the sensor to kick on when something passes it. It has a light on it so that way it kind of warns people to, hey, get away so it's motion activated. But also it allows you to film if you're trying to figure out what someone's doing or what, some, what happened on your property. Motion cameras are great. Solar cameras are great. So you don't want the camera. Just having motion lights around your property. I have red sensor lights going all around my property in very inconspicuous places. Why they're there is that means if someone walks past that, I can see the light and I can see the sensor go off. It doesn't matter where it's at. It's going to be bright enough. That it almost looks like a police light. But what it does, it lets me know there's a problem on that part of the property. There's a problem with this. There's a problem in that field. So if you don't want the motion sensor camera, once you look at the motion sensor light, look at some way to make sure you can see something that's going on that's not quite at your home. You may not can see it, but that sensor on the light can. It's kind of like the dog. You may not can see it, but the dog can. You may not can see it, but you've got someone at your door and guess what? You've got the two by four system working. You've got something on the windows working. You've got the shockwave torch from Paint Safari ready to go just in case. If you don't want to use lethal force, you can use something non-lethal, but it can still put someone on the ground and allows you to get away. That's the purpose of this video budget oriented budget friendly non-lethal ways to protect our homes that could satisfy from the youngest to the oldest i challenge you to have all these and look at it because it's very good for your budget so check these things out also check out the shockwave again such a phenomenal situation where you could switch it on you got more than not you know you got the light and that's awesome to have especially if you're walking around but to have the way to take care of yourself and know that you can protect yourself with this torch is a great investment. And guess what? You're even entered to win a truck. How cool is that? So sign up below on that. Check the link out in the description. And thank you so much for watching today. I hope these things help you. Comment below if you've bought something else this week. Comment below if you think these are some good investments to protect ourselves, defend ourselves, and have security. Because when we have security, it allows us to not stress and have anxiety like so many times we do. Guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless. Happy holidays.